Hello. Today we'll be showing a demonstration on how to verify a heterogeneous system with multiple ECUs using Siemens tools. Vehicles today host tens of electronic control units and hundreds of sensors and actuators running hundreds of millions of lines of code. Not only that, the cost of respinning after first silicon tape out due to a hardware or software bug is actually huge. That's why the need for an integrated framework to design and verify ECUs and the software running on top of it early in the design cycle is becoming mandatory. Represented here is Siemens framework to stimulate the driving experience with all its details in a digital manner. Let's start by introducing the main parts of our system. First, pass pre-scan to generate a virtual driving scenario. Second, LMS AMISIM to model and simulate multi-physics systems and in this case the mechanical brake system. Last but not least, the Vista virtual prototyping solution to simulate virtual ECU's functional behavior. The scenario under test is a vehicle with an air sensor detecting an object on its sight range. It's shown in green. The first part of the demo will demonstrate a manual brake initiated by the driver. In the second part of the demo, an automated brake is initiated due to an object proximity. Our testing scenario consists of four ECUs plus the mechanical brake system. The first ECU is a dashboard ECU. It's modeled using vector canoe. Its main function is to exercise and monitor packets. This entails getting different inputs from the user and displaying the speed and RPM values on the dashboard. The second ECU is the engine control ECU. It's a PowerPC-based Vista virtual platform running Autosar stack on top of it. The third ECU is the transmission control ECU. It's an ARM-based Vista virtual platform running a bare metal application. Fourth ECU is the ADAS control ECU. Its main function is to act as an advanced emergency braking system. It's a Vista virtual platform wrapped as FMU slave to a pre-scan MATLAB Simulink. Then the mechanical brake system, which is an AMISIM co-simulation FMU slave to Vista FMI model. The dashboard ECU will get the input from the user. Inputs can be the accelerator or brake press, shift accelerator angle, or in case of manual braking, it's the brake angle. It sends those inputs on a Kenoi packet with ID 0x5 and 0x70 for brake angle. The Autosar software application running on top of the engine control ECU will accept the packet with ID 0x5 and will send to the transmission controller ECU another CAN packet with ID 0x1 and with data equal engine command. The transmission controller ECU will receive the CAN packet with ID 0x1. The bare metal application running on top of it will calculate the RPM and speed and will send their values on another CAN packet with ID 0x20 to the dashboard ECU where it would be displayed. Meanwhile, the bare metal application will write to the DAC register inside the transmission control ECU a value representing the braking angle. The DAC model will, will generate analog data which represents the force sent to MSM braking system through FMI master. The MSM brake system will show the move of pistons on the four wheels, while the canoe dashboard will show the reduction of speed meter. Now we are down to the second part of the testing scenario, which is the automatic braking system that combines sensors and brake controllers to help prevent high-speed collisions. Here, the DAS ECU detects potential crash and brakes automatically to mitigate the consequences of a crash. It will receive the speed and RPM CAN packets 
from the transmission controller ECU and in case of threat, it activates the car brakes and switches off the throttle sending can packets with ID 0x70 and data brake angle. Now here is the real technical demo. We start by running the engine control virtual ECU and accordingly the automotive virtual network bus is invoked. The virtual bus will trigger the dashboard ECU and will be waiting for the other two ECUs to be up and running. We then run the ADAS virtual ECU which is automatically connected to the automotive virtual bus. We will simulate the DAC and the Vista FMI master model which is part of the transmission control ECU. Notice that the transmission control ECU controls the Amazon brake system FMU. We will run the transmission control ECU. Once the simulation starts, all the system on the automotive virtual bus is up and running. We invoke pre-scan Simulink models which will be connected to the ADAS ECU by FMI. The ADAS ECU acts as FMU slave inside the MATLAB Simulink. We start the scenario by having a man running towards the main street. It is shown in two views from pre-scan. The third view is the car driver eyesight. As you can see, the car is still in park mode. We start the ride by moving the car gear from park to drive modes. Consequently, the car is automatically starting to move slowly. With applying an accelerator angle of 90 degrees, we notice the increase of speed on the dashboard as well on the pre-scan view. Continuing pressing on the accelerator pedal leads to an increase of the RPM as well. We manually press the brake and we monitor the car speed decrease until it stops. With applying an accelerator angle of 30 degrees, we notice the increase in the speed once more. Pressing the accelerator even more leads to a faster ride. The increased speed is shown in the canoe viewer in black, while the accelerator press is in green and the RPM values are in pink. The first sharp decrease in speed plotted in the canoe viewer is the result of the brake press, while the other minor decreases are the result of releasing the accelerator pedal where the road friction slows down the moving car. The car sensor range is 20 meters, so when approaching the man at 20 meters gap, the ADAS ECU will respond to the sensor detector and will send brake can packets to the transmission ECU with ascending brake angle values. As shown in the MATLAB Simulink viewer, the calculated speed inside the ADAS ECU is following the car's moving pattern. The air sensor detector was zero until it approached the man at 20 meters distance. The detected gap decreases until the car stops at 11 meters from the man. With the sharp decrease in speed, we notice the high traffic in the canoe brake packets shown in pink in the canoe graphics viewer. We see here LMS AMISIM ascending brake input forces triggered by the ADAS ECU and the corresponding output forces on the four wheels. Thank you for watching our demo.